guys. I just decided to uh, solve the Nebula challenge from Expert Education. Uh, if you see here, Nebula is a vulnerable VM that probably tries to teach us few different things. Uh, mostly Linux based vulnerabilities, right? So we have set UID, permissions, race conditions, path weakness, a lot of different things. So hopefully, let's try to learn something out of it, right? And there is a download link. You can download the VM, deploy it there, and you do have the username and password for the VR, which is Nebula and Nebula. But each different level should come up with a different challenge, right? So if you have it set up, you can get started right ahead. I do have it set up already. So I'm just going to start my VR. So yeah. Okay, while that is booting, let's just go ahead and look at uh, the challenge, the level one challenge, right? Sorry, the level 00 challenge. So this level requires you to find asset QID program that would run as root. Sorry, that would run as flag double zero. We can try to look in the whole file system. Probably we'll have to use the find feature in Linux. Hopefully it has put it up. Like I'm just going to log in using the default credential, which is Nebula and Nebula, 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 and clear the screen. Now, we do know that um, it is executable, which is a security binary, right? So we could probably run find slash for whole file system and look for permissions that are executable. With that is a lot of files. Now let's try to redirect the errors into a different place such that we are able to look at only the valid outputs, right? So errors are usually denoted by two. Standard input is zero and standard output is one. So same command but to retrieve slash dev now. Now you can redirect it anywhere, you can even redirect it to slash tmp temp directory or dev uh, shm whatever wherever you have access but seems to work well and that did not result us with anything so we do not have an exact match but what we can do is we can look for you know partial match for the files so if you include a dash over here this looks for partial match for a search criteria or the find criteria. Enter and yeah, we do have few different results. So what we can do is we can try to filter this, right? One thing that I know for sure is that we can grab it through more and we can look at, if you look at the first result that says slash bin slash dot 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 slash flag something like that so anyway you could even pipe it through less you could pipe it through something else like you know you could pipe it through grub and say look for anything that has the value flag in it and we do get two different files so let's try to look at the first one change directory bin dot 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 enter and the slash la to list out all the hidden files and we do have a file right so let's try to execute the file hopefully let's complete the challenge flag double zero and permission tonight so let's go back and look at what we are missing okay so to access this level login as level double zero with the password level double zero so that probably we should do. Right. So this flag could be run only by level double zero. Now, if you look at the permission, it says level one, sorry, level double zero, right? So this is super user 
double double zero which will act as double double zero level double zero and who am I? I am level double zero. So which SH I think this is the SH cell. Uh, we could probably switch to bash if you wanted to or if there is a SH. I don't think that is there. But it really depends on you. So we'll change the directories to slash bin slash dot and clear the screen ls dash la and we have the flag. Yeah. Dot slash flag double zero and now we can run get flag command to finish the mission. And that's pretty much it. So we did learn to use the find command. We did learn about how to look for partial match using the find command. So hopefully you've learned something and if you liked it, just give it a like or subscribe. See you guys next time.